Alan Wake 2 is on the horizon, and fans of the original 2010 title have been eagerly awaiting the upcoming sequel, Alan Wake 2. Developed by Remedy Entertainment, the first Alan Wake was a masterclass in building tension and suspense, and so, it's no wonder why the Alan Wake hype, at the time of this recording, is at a fever pitch. And since the folks at Remedy Entertainment have been sharing tons of new information lately, it's high time we unveil the 5 things we know about Alan Wake 2. 1. The Story before diving into the specifics of Alan Wake 2 in a game whose protagonist is literally a novelist, it shouldn't be a shock to anyone that knowing the plot of its predecessor is essential. Without going into the nitty gritty details, the original Alan Wake introduced players to a burned out mystery writer named Alan Wake, whose vacation with his wife Alice took a nightmarish turn when they encountered a malevolent force known as the Dark Presence. This entity had the power to bring horrifying stories to life in the small Pacific Northwest town of Bright Falls. The town's inhabitants were gradually consumed by darkness, transforming into the Taken, terrifying creatures that could only be defeated by exposing them to light. Alice was abducted by the Dark Presence, which promised to return only if Alan could complete his latest story. Alan soon discovered that this grim phenomenon had previously ensnared another writer, Thomas Zane. The Dark Presence had a sinister agenda. It aimed to amplify and embody the narratives created near it, manipulating the world and weaving its own tales. After a harrowing journey, Alan managed to rescue Alice but found himself trapped in the enigmatic dark place, realizing that it was a far more expansive and sinister entity than he ever imagined. Now in Alan Wake 2, the story branches out to two protagonists, 13 years after the original game's events. In the present day, Bright Falls is gripped by a string of ritualistic murders following Alan Wake's mysterious disappearance. The arrival of FBI agent Saga Anderson marks the beginning of an investigation into these gruesome crimes. However, Saga quickly becomes ensnared in a nightmarish tale of the supernatural, one that Alan Wake himself has woven in a desperate attempt to escape the dark place. 2. Gameplay Alan Wake 2 brings forth an interesting shift in its genre, opting for more survival horror elements unlike the action-adventure style of the first game. This change implies that the game's mechanics will emphasize resource management, injecting a deeper layer of complexity into the gameplay. It's worth noting that the game retains its third-person perspective, a trademark feature of Remedy's titles, as witnessed in the likes of Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and Control. Sam Lake, the creative director, has underscored the game's commitment to horror, hinting at more ominous and lurking threats than the Taken we encountered in Bright Falls. Brace yourself for an unsettling journey imbued with psychological horror elements, as it pushes the boundaries of fear and the protagonist's resilience. As Lake aptly put it, they're pushing Alan Wake further than ever in the sequel. Notably, both protagonists, Alan and Saga Anderson, introduce unique gameplay elements. Saga wields the Mind Place, a pivotal tool in her investigative arsenal, enabling her to piece together the clues discovered during her exploration. In an interview with IGN, Sam Lake disclosed that while certain elements from the early development of Alan Wake 2 have made their way into the current game, the bulk of the content is mostly new ideas. Furthermore, Alan Wake 2 will have a mature rating, a departure from the teen rating of its predecessor. Honestly, I think this creative decision grants the development team the freedom to explore more mature themes and ideas, aligning seamlessly with their clear objective of delivering a top-tier horror game. 3. The Remedy Connected Universe Alan Wake 2 is not just a standalone story, it's part of the larger Remedy Connected Universe. This interconnected universe includes Alan Wake and the 2019 title Control, a connection solidified by the Control AWE DLC. While playing previous games from this universe isn't mandatory to understand Alan Wake 2, it does provide valuable context, particularly regarding the titular character and the complex situation he now faces. Throughout the games, you'll discover various connections and references that tie the narrative threads together. For instance, the enigmatic Mr. Door, who appears to host a mysterious show within the Dark Place, previously made an appearance in Control. In a May 2022 update, Remedy Entertainment shared some concept art for Alan Wake 2 that emphasizes the game's dark and horrifying elements, reinforcing its status as a vital installment in this interconnected universe. When you do finally get to play Alan Wake 2, do try and keep an eye out for these subtle connections. 4. Graphics and Platforms Alan Wake 2 aims to leverage the power of current generation hardware. Remedy Entertainment is developing the game for Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, PS5, and PC via the Epic Game Store. In other words, Alan Wake 2 is completely next-gen, which also means PC players will need relatively good hardware. Alan Wake 2 can take advantage of the ultra-fast SSDs found in the latest consoles, as well as the improved CPU and GPU components. This translates into higher frame rates, more impressive visual effects, and faster loading times. 
it's even likely that loading screens will become a thing of the past. Furthermore, the game utilizes Remedy's proprietary North Light engine, which, according to Sam Lake, allows Alan Wake 2 to be the best-looking Remedy game to date. This engine is also being employed in the remake of Max Payne and Max Payne 2, developed by Remedy Entertainment and published by Rockstar Games. This remake, like Alan Wake 2, will be exclusive to current-generation consoles. Overall, I think it's safe to say Alan Wake 2 is going to look really good. According to reports, Alan Wake 2 is much scarier than the first game, and with a mature rating, upgraded graphics, and its horror focus, it comes as no surprise. 5. Release Date Mark your calendars for October 27, 2023, because that's when Alan Wake 2 is set to make its highly anticipated debut. Remedy Entertainment has employed a deliberate strategy in the lead-up to this release and opted to keep most details about the game shrouded in mystery throughout 2022. Sam Lake justified this approach, emphasizing Remedy's commitment to delivering the best possible survival horror game. And with that, these are the 5 things we know about Alan Wake 2. With gameplay innovations, improved graphics, and an interesting new storyline, I'm pretty impressed with Remedy's approach overall. Its mature rating is a testament to their commitment to creating the best sequel possible, no holds barred. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. This is Arihead, signing out.